Good morning students. Welcome back to part 2 lecture on orthographic projections. In part 1 lecture, I have discussed you about the definition of orthographic projections. What are the parameters essential in order to project on your plane of projection. And I even discuss about multi-view projection. Orthographic projection is a multi-view projection. In order to view the 3D object, I require set of planes. Why? Because here a 3D object cannot be seen in a single view. I require multiple views, so hence I require multiple screens. Here what I am going to explain to you is, if a person sitting here observe is that side, the object is here, the plane of projection is here, the observer can see only this part. As it is a 3D object, he can see only the front part of the object. For example, observer is unable to see when he is sitting that side, the top side of the top part of the object. So, observer should be here, hence the plane and observer should be parallel to each other and plane the object will be in between. Now, when the observer is looking at this, when the rays of sun are hitting this body, this top view is appearing onto this plane, the ground plane. Similarly, if we want to see the side views, so we require side planes to or the screens. Hence, we go with the concept of quadrants. So, what exactly the quadrant is? Now, I am going to draw here quadrant positions where we are going to trace or the views onto this plane of projections. This quadrant, in this quadrant, this 2D planes acts as a plane of projection. This 2D planes. So what are the purpose of these 2D planes? A 3D object can be drawn on a 2D paper in multiple views. As we are studying in a single view, in an orthographic projection, a complete 3D object cannot be seen. So, Hence, we need to follow the quadrants. Here, when you look this, this is a vertical plane. As the plane is vertical, as it is a 2D, so it is a vertical plane. Now, when you look at both the planes, they are perpendicular, right angle to each other. Hence, orthographic projection is a right angle projection. So, the planes are also right angle to each other. And this is Horizontal plane. Horizontal plane. So similarly, this is horizontal plane and vertical plane. And the line joining horizontal plane and vertical plane XY is nothing but a reference line. XY is the reference line. So my VP is nothing but vertical plane. HP is horizontal plane. Horizontal plane. And XY is a reference line. A line joining horizontal plane and vertical plane is nothing but a reference line. So this is my first quadrant. Second, third, and fourth. So, we, by this coordinate positions, we are going to talk about what is first angle projection method, second angle, third, and fourth angle projection method. Now, before going to that, as we were discussing in orthographic projection, the source will be to the left, and the object is here, the plane of projection is to my right. And the rays coming and hitting the object, the rays are parallel to each other, a perpendicular to the object, as well as perpendicular to the screen, that is nothing but orthographic projection. Now, we have a similar case even in the first quadrant. In the first quadrant, the person or the observer is being placed to the left, and object is placed in between the rays hitting. This 
are parallel to each other and further they are extended onto onto a plane of projection so object is image for the type of this shadow this is going to be appear on the screen so how to define and how to make this for standard projection method we need to question ourselves three things here where the object is and how the object is in the planes and what are the views of the object is all are related to object what is where what is how what are the views depending on this concept we will be going to find which one is first quadrant second quadrant third and fourth quadrant where the term where is related between plane of projection object and source i repeat again the term where is with respect to plane of projection object as well as source or the screen now the object is in between source and screen the first quadrant you see the object is placed here the source here as well as plane of projection is here the object is in between source and screen source and screen so it is said to be in first quadrant and the second question is how it is how the object is with respect to the planes second question is with respect to both the planes how it is it is in front of vertical plane and above horizontal plane the object is in front of vertical plane above horizontal plane for this we can either make a box to make clear understanding so this is my quadrant and this is vertical plane horizontal plane so in the first quadrant it is in front of vp above hp the object is in front of vp and above hp it is said to be first quadrant next the third question is views what are the views of the object when it is in the first quadrant which view is in which plane next when the person is viewing this object from here this view or the extension lines or projection lines rays go and extend on to vertical plane so this is the front view viewing the object from here so this fv is nothing but front view front view front view image is on to vertical plane the front view image is on to vertical plane so this is front view now the person has to view even from the top when he is seeing the object from the top so the source will be here the ray is coming at it in this plane so this is top view the indication and plane projections so the ray is extended on to horizontal plane so when the person is seeing this object from the top this image will be on to the horizontal plane so top view will be on to horizontal plane Yes, students. The front view is also called as elevation. In other terms, it is called as elevation, and top view is also otherwise called as elevation. In the example, we are asking the elevation of front view or top view, or the other name is plan. Now, front view is on to vertical plane, top view is on to horizontal plane. Now, tilting of the plane. here is important now let me concentrate with this quadrant positions taking this paper i am going to show you again what exactly the standard projection method is this is how my first quadrant is in this first quadrant the object is where this is the source this both are planes the vertical plane horizontal plane this is a vertical plane horizontal plane The line joining vertical plane and horizontal plane is called the reference line. Now, object is here, source to this side, the plane of projection. First question is where the object is in between source and screen. Source 
and screen the object is between how the object is above horizontal plane and in front of vertical plane it is in front of vertical plane above horizontal plane next the views when the observer is this side the source is this side viewing from this side that is front view the front view image is on to vertical plane and viewing from top the top view image is on to horizontal plane so as the planes are in 3d it is difficult the coming problems coming units for solids and planes to draw like this on a 2d paper placing the planes so what to be done here is tilting the horizontal plane clockwise now uh, it is 90 degree it should be plane clockwise and make it parallel or uh, 90 degree with horizontal or vertical plane so this horizontal plane to be tilted as i have shown here horizontal plane to be tilted so in order to make a single plane here that a reference line in between in order to make the drawings very easy on to 2d paper so this is your vertical plane and this is the horizontal plane so this is a reference line on to the vertical plane front view on to the horizontal plane top view i am going to draw this and show you
right profile plane. So what I told is on the left profile plane, you will see right side view RSV. On the right profile plane, left side view. So this is nothing but first angle projection method. I hope students, this is your first angle first angle projection method. See second angle projection.